This is the best part. After a long time, guys, I'm back in the blue. Feels good. Feels good. Sharp for Thailand. Great. What's up guys, welcome back to another day at sea. This is my new cabin. I will give a tour of it later. But first, let's rewind a few days. The first initial days. And I can tell you, boy, I was in deep shit. Like, I was crying, I was scared, I was traumatized. That is why I tried to document it as much as possible so that you guys can learn from this and you know, not repeat these mistakes. Towards the end, I'll give you a few tips and tricks as to what to do and what not to do. But without any further ado, let's start episode number two. So guys, it is 1.5 or no, 1.10 in the afternoon. I have my notes ready. And we just have four hours for the handover, so this is going to be tough. Let's hope I can crack this. So what I'm doing is I'm issuing myself PP because I'm the PP in charge. So PP is like personal protection equipment, boiler suit, shoes, gloves, and all of that. So doing that now. Short portfolio, great. Yeah. We have to do this manually for even that. Yeah, so now once you've done the aft one, you exit and now you go to the forward one and then you do it on the forward one as well. Currently my handover is going on, just on a small tea break. Operation is going on. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed because many things to cover and I'm, I was off for like 5-6 months so lost a lot of memory and all new equipment. So we literally, quite literally, just had 4 hours for a handover which included the bridge equipment, the GMDSS equipment, inventories feminization, important emails and amongst all of this there was bunkering going on, there was new stores to be received, provisions, crew change and we just received a news that in 6 hours we had to go to a place for which there was no passage plan. Now I was going crazy like it was chaos. Let me show you in the video exactly my feelings. We got a bunker barge on the first day for refueling. Wow. This is a pretty hectic port man. Right, well, this was my first ship as a cadet. L class. Not this one but late one. And now we are on C class. Doing the bunk ring. Second officer is gone. I am officially the second officer of this particular ship. The departure right now is in four hours. We are going to anchor somewhere in the Singapore anchorage. I have to make a new route immediately from scratch. A bit nervous. And uh, yeah, work mode back on. Shipping back on. Huge containers being lifted. So I'll tell you something here, guys. I am in my cabin. I tried, I was trying to sleep for the past. 2-3 hours but I couldn't sleep yeah. I don't know there's this overwhelming thing like what if the route is bad and I'm missing home now a lot like uh, this is like uh, the mind again playing trick if you are getting overwhelmed with stress or anxiety or something it wants to go back to the safe zone which is your family and friends and this is the reality yeah. I was sleeping for the past trying to sleep for the past 2 hours but it couldn't happen man couldn't happen just had two chocolates and uh, water and now I have to go for my watch. So I'm sure a lot of people face this. If you have faced it, do let me know in the comment section. Yaar. Currently I'm on Anchorage outside Singapore, the beautiful city where we were yesterday. And right now we are waiting for our bunkering operations to finish then we head to Africa. What happened was we had to do bunkering in the main port 
but the bunker parts came late and right now it's somewhere over there i'll just show you and it is sorry it is 450 on the first day doing 6 on 6 of it no sleep so it is 0 to 100 not even 0 to 10 0 to 100 acceleration <laughs> so you have to cope up with that and all these are new equipment so uh, passage planning familiarization so many things happen at once gets really tiring guys this money is hard really hard money i'll just show you the bunker barge over here night operations This is my first day, and here is my watchkeeper. Watchkeeper name is Nidhin. Yeah, hi. Hi. So Nidhin, let introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Nidhin. I'm from Kerala. Kerala. And how many months have you been? I'm nearly to eight months now. Eight months, man. Yeah. My God, this is a huge contract. Yeah. So Nidhin and I right now transiting the Malacca Straits. He will be with me for the next one and a half months, maybe. Yeah, one, one and, and a half months. Yeah. So you'll see him. And today is day one. Yeah. So see you, Nidhin. Yeah. 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 So on the day one familiarization, what I'm doing is getting myself acquainted to all the new bridge equipments, but most, but most importantly, to the Egdis and the features it has got, like you know settings, basic settings and stuff like that. So I have to be well versed with all of this because this baby, this bridge, is my department fully. Also, I am trying to learn about all these GMDSS equipments because as a second officer. GM DS is also my department. The entire bridge is my department, perhaps. So why is life at sea tough? I'll tell you why. Because on the first day itself, there was work going on at the background. The primary job was like navigation and getting familiar with everything. But then I had to take inventories of the new orders. I had to do the weekly checks, and I had to report all of this to the captain and the show team. So it is very tough, yar. Deepak, go ahead. Okay, we'll check for God. The second officer, I have received some LSA orders which I have to put back. You see, life jackets, many things, log books. So I have to take them and assemble it. This is a man overboard smoke and light boy. So this is put on the bridge wings, which I'll show you when I go there. So it was expiring for us, and we got the new one. So I will be installing this later. Also, now I am the medical in charge. So. I received some new medicines, so I'm just telling that what whatever we have received is in place. So second officer is also doing the medical uh, inventory here. So guys, I finished my watch. I haven't slept much in the last 36 hours. What I have to do now is shift all my luggage from this temporary room to my original room, which I'll stay for the next six months. Which I will not show you now because that has to be a room tour for sure. This room is very big, yar. Yeah. I mean the bed. Is like a queen size bed. Wow! So with bigger ranks come bigger beds. <laughs> anyway, so okay, bus yahi tak. That's it. This is the best part. As I can see, at least the sky from this not like those Emma and Munkebo where the containers are so high it literally covers your portholes. And here it is open, so I'm really happy, 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 happy. Also, few important things which I learned from my first day. Please carry a pen and pencil always. What happens is the handover time is very short time, so you have to write down the basics. Otherwise, you will forget it, and then maybe the reliever does not care, and he will not reply to your messages, your queries. So, pen and paper, yeah, please. Second thing is, don't try to do too many things at once. I tried this 
it was my mistake i really really messed up so then i divided into like one passage plan one inventory etc etc many new things stationary inventory medical inventory so many responsibilities i was in danish flag vessels now in singapore flag vessels so many things are going to change so like you see on my face yaar <laughs> dead tired no sleep so i have to take some rest but i wanted to convey this message to you all who are going to join the ship for the first time as an officer cadet or maybe a second time third time and the third tip i will tell you is please get your sleep before joining the ship don't roam around that much also yaar vanna you will be dead tired it's a very dynamic life out here things change very quickly so get your sleep get good rest and then yaar earn some money yaar yahan aake and enjoy the beautiful waters on that note i will also show you ki yahan pe na there are some great paintings made we'll see that later and we are carrying a truck kind of a thing so this is going to be new because you've got a crane not just one but four of them so first time for you guys with on a geared ship it's known as a geared ship the ships which don't have cranes are known as gearless so ab maza aayega <laughs> 